Hey everyone, welcome back. Merry Christmas, happy holidays, all that jazz. Uh, sorry if my voice sounds a little messed up. I've been sick all week, but I wanted to share some news with you that some individuals at the Mage Discord just recently found out. And what was discovered is that Frostfire Bolt double dips from crit debuffs such as the 5% spell crit debuff provided by Improved Scorch and Improved Shadow Bolt, as well as the 3% crit debuff provided by Totem of Wrath, Heart of the Crusader, and Master Poisoner. Frostfire Bolt also double dips from our Precision Talent, giving it 6% hit as opposed to 3%. However, it does not double benefit from the mana reduction portion of that talent, and really you would still want to gear towards having hit cap for your other spells, otherwise your hot streak proc. Uh, pyroblasts and living bombs won't be hit capped so this is more just of an interesting find than something useful but ultimately what this all means is that frostfire bolt casts in ffp spec are benefiting from eight percent more crit than we originally thought from the sims and this helps explain why ffp is performing better in the logs than we had originally anticipated this is likely due to the fact that Frostfire Bolt benefits from both Schools of Magic, i.e. Fire, fire and Frost, and due to what we almost certainly assume are some coding hiccups, it benefits twice from these debuffs. The Osvival Mage Sim has been updated to include this double dipping, and Savari has generated this graph to compare BIS sets in Tier 7. And shout out to Savari for providing this, thank you man. And as we can see, FFB now performs similarly to Fire Torment the Week in terms of personal DPS, with Fight Length being the main determiner of which spec does best. So what are the implications of this? Basically, if you aren't in a hardcore guild and you're the only mage, or if you don't have the hit gear for Torment the Week, then you could go FFB if that's your preferred playstyle, since personal DPS-wise, they perform about the same, and each fire spec has their advantages and disadvantages, which I cover in my Fire Mage Guide, and if the advantages FFB brings speak to your playstyle, then you could go FFB. That said, Fire Torment the Week is still the better spec because it gives someone else in the raid focus magic. So that's why I said if you're the only mage, you could go FFB. Otherwise, if there's another mage in the raid, it, to me, it's it's kind of bad manners and griefing the, uh, that other mage if you go FFB and take their focus magic and don't give them one back. And look, I'm guilty of it when I wanted to try out FFB in raid as well, but I don't think it's the play long term. And it's not the play long term because Fire Torment the Week will continue to outscale FFB with better gear coming out. So while in Phase 1 BIS they're about equal in terms of personal DPS, in Phase 2 BIS Fire Torment the Week will be ahead of FFB due to that scaling. And again, technically Fire Torment the Week is already better than an FFB spec since it provides the raid focus magic. Now, currently, other things are being tested to see if FFB double dips on anything else, but so far, nothing significant has been found, and a lot of things have been tested. So I think this is all we'll find, but to stay up to date, hit the like and subscribe, and if you like the content, hit the like and subscribe, and if you don't like the content, hit the like and subscribe anyways, because it's Christmas time. Also, drop me a follow at twitch.tv slash criteria. We have speedruns and all of our PTR testing coming up, and as always, join the Discord for additional questions and mage discussion. I want to thank the Mage Discord, and specifically shout out to Savari, who brought it to everyone's attention with his own testing, and then some others jumped in to help further that testing, such as Ichigami, Forge, and of course Asivel, the Mage Sim developer who has been helping testing and updating the Sim in real time. And now, what should Blizzard do about this? From a coding point of view, it's of course incorrect, and we're pretty positive it's not intended, so... Uh, it should be fixed from that point of view, but personally I'm fine with it because it doesn't make FFB spec overpowered And in fact TTW is still technically a little better as far as fire specs go So in terms of balancing it actually provides more viable variety for fire mages to choose from which I think is great However, I doubt Blizzard sees it like that and they're already aware of this so we'll see what they do Anyways, that's all I have. Thank you for watching again hit like and subscribe follow me on twitch do all the things to help support the channel And I hope you all are well and not sick and I hope to see you at one of the speedrun streams or the Alduar PTR streams And yeah, take care. Cheers